There's been this narrative running in markets since the start of the year. The market expected a lot. The Fed never promised that much in terms of rate cuts. But I think you think I think your view is that we're actually underpricing rate cuts for the second half of the year. So why do you see such weakness when at the moment the U.S. economy seems so resilient? Well, this comes back to the, the, the very simple story of inflation and the policy rate. Right? This is where the, the Fed's framework really settles right now is where's the nominal policy rate, where's inflation? It's too high, essentially, is the gist of it. question for me is when the dust settles this year, where do we land? But also in the next one to two months, where does that pricing head? I think if you look you know, nine months from now, we'll probably have, have probably had 100, 125 basis points of cuts this year from the Fed, so more than the market currently prices. But to be fair, the recent data have obviously been very strong, and we need a catalyst. We need some data that shows these recent strong data were just a blip. I think we'll get that, but probably not for another couple of weeks. So if right now, the market, the fixed income market, probably continues to trade relatively weakly until we see that negative catalyst. Mm. We spoke to a guest in the last hour, though, who's saying, you know, U.S. consumers are still spending their savings. U.S. stocks still doing well, adds to the wealth effect in the United States. With those trends intact, or do you see those trends changing, which then drives some, some sort of uh, some change in the data that you're, that you're looking for? That's, that's certainly some, uh, a potential component of it. I think more to me is, is, is the labor market. So if you look at under the surface, I wouldn't say we're, we're necessarily in a, a, a recessionary labor market by any means. I think it's still relatively robust. But to think that we're adding a 350,000 jobs a month, I don't, I don't really necessarily see other data in the labor market that confirms that kind of trend. I think we're probably closer to 150 to 200. And that's an important difference. We're running a trend as opposed to above trend. So as we see some of that residual seasonality fade out of those jobs numbers, say February, March, I think the narrative will flip back to labor market's not as strong as we thought it was. Mm. Um, U.S. 10-year at 4.283 this morning. Do I buy that? Do I wait for a better entry point? Is that yield going higher? Do I buy the U.S. sell Europe? What's the trade? Well, I think the, the European growth story is probably more negative than the, in the U.S. growth story. So I would sort of talk to a lot of investors who like not only the growth story as, an, as a sort of a catalyst to buy Europe, uh, European fixed income, but also yep. the, the debt story, the fiscal side, right? The U.S. obviously has a lot more fiscal challenges than, say, uh, Germany. Sure. And so that's an important component of it as well. In terms of treasuries, though, I, how, much, how much further? You talk about maybe the, that bad data turning up in a few weeks' time. Mm -hmm. D d does the Treasury market continue to sell off into that number? Do you think we've reached a point now where actually the market is reasonably good value? W what do you think about in terms of pricing and how far the market has gone? Well, so I think it probably depends on where you are on the curve, for example. So I think at the, at the front end of the curve, we've priced out most of the cuts in, in terms of the next, say, two to three months or so. Yep. So March is off the table. Even May is looking less likely in terms of market pricing. I think in terms of the front end, you've got a pretty good distribution where you know, we, let, we see a, a, attractive valuations there. The belly looks a little bit less attractive. Maybe the five-year part of the curve continues to yep. be under pressure. But yeah, I think that front end looks relatively attractive.